uh, on campuses across the country. We appreciate it. Let's get it over to Andrew Peterson now for another look at the weather. Andrew, good morning once again. Good morning. Let's go with the new word, ground blizzard. Not all blizzards are caused by the amount of snow falling out of the sky. All you need is a lot of wind and a lot of snow already on the ground. It picks up that snow, blows it around, and you can't see much at all. That's going to be the concern of the northern plains and the upper Midwest today. But let's talk about why do we have a lot of wind? Remember what wind is? It is a pressure difference or difference between cold and warm. And let's watch this. Look at this low. We're going to track this clipper. We mean really cold. We'll get all this cold air by Tuesday. We're going to be talking about teens down through Georgia. By the time we get in through Thursday, it gets worse. Look at this. We're going to be talking about 30s all the way down through Florida. All thanks to a clipper that's going to be out there. This is the same clipper, by the way. We're going to be watching whether or not it brings even more snow into the Northeast. It's going to cause a big mess out there. But of course, we had the Super Bowl. Shocker. We're going to be talking about 70s and beautiful. This one wasn't a tough one to forecast. That's a look at the big picture. Here's a look at your local weather. This weather is brought to you by Beauty Rest. I'm thinking something most of us want a little bit more of every night. Yeah. <laughs> Sleep? Sleep. Yes. That? What is that, right? Wine? Huh? No. Or that. Wine. My bad. <laughs> so many things. Yeah. Mommy juice, right? <laughs> the the Paul Ferris thought bubble. <laughs> we just want a party is what we want. And coming up on Good Morning America, it is party time. We're taking you inside the events ahead of the Super Bowl packed with celebrities. Good Morning America is brought to you by Kings Hawaiian. Irresistible since 1950. I just want to take a second right now to look at Dan Harris. I know it's because Ow. he loved me so much. This He rarely does this. He's stepping out of his newsman into his big skin outfit. I love this outfit. I actually may wear this for the game. I have just fallen so in love on a whole new level with Both my with son Dan and I will be in onesie. Both my son, my one-year-old son and I will wear onesies. One appropriately so and one you. Okay. A little deflated. So it's a Super Bowl Sunday, and as you can see, I am dressed for the occasion. Looking for a prediction for the Super Bowl, the only wise thing left to do is talk to the animals. Check out these baby redfoot tortoises from Moody Gardens in Texas. Slow and steady won the prediction race for Carolina. Over at the Maryland Zoo, two-year-old lioness Zuri kept it in the big cat family, selecting the Panthers football. In, in Ohio, this adorable little otter definitely knows what's up. Oh, my God, yes. There you go. Wow, it's you don't need to play. Yeah, so if you, believe, the animal kingdom. if you believe the animals, Carolina has it in the bag. So that's one way to look at it. And how about a look at those weird and wonderful prop bets? Some picks from Sportsbook Review. What color shoes will Beyonce wear? Right now, black is the favorite. You can also bet on Coldplay's first song. Adventure of a Lifetime is leading with odds of two to one. And remember Left Shark, how can we forget? You can place money at 15 to one on whether he'll make a comeback. And at six to one, you can also place a wager on Peyton Manning crying during the broadcast. I, I take if, that bet. If he if he wins, I think he, there's definitely tears. If I I think he deserves to cry. Do well, because you want, he'll Peyton. probably retire and ride off into the sunset with the ring. What more does he need? Oh, good. I mean, tears of joy. I will cry. I love a man who can cry. So go with it, Peyton. And Drake's Hotline Bling music video just turned into a Super Bowl commercial. The singer spoofing himself in an ad for T-Mobile. You used to call me on my cell phone. <laughs> good, good, pull out, good. Perfect. Here are the changes. I love changes. When you say call me on my it, cell phone, just add device eligible for upgrade after 24 months. In addition to a guy who can cry, <laughs> I like a guy who can poke fun at himself. He's taken so much ribbing for that video. So he jumped on board and made fun of it himself. Love it. self deprecation The only thing yes. he needs is a football onesie, and he'll be fully fully making fun of himself. This completes you, Dan, on Thank every you. level. I appreciate that. And what's a Super Bowl without food? We're here to help you make it your best spread ever with the perfect beer pairings. Authors Julia Hertz and Gwen Conley, authors of Beer Pairing, The Essential Guide from the Pairing Pros, tell NPR that your beef chili pairs well with an imperial double IPA. Guacamole goes well with a hoppy American pale ale. For buffalo wings, go with a bohemian-style pilsner. Even Cool Ranch Doritos gets its own beer, an imperial red ale. And for pizza, a German-style pilsner. So, And we want to thank 47 Brands for providing 
some of our fan wear this morning. And I want to confirm with Ron that those beer picks were good. You're a beer drinker. I think those are good picks. Absolutely. You like the matchups? I do. I do. Can we do one in liquor? I do. Who knew a Cool Ranch Dorito could get better? Have you ever tried dipping a Cool Ranch Dorito in cottage cheese? No, I have no. not. It's good. It's good. Should I? Don't say it before you try it. Indra, you go there first. You try it first. Try it first. Um, you noticed Dan challenged, challenged me earlier to see who would eat the most. You yes. haven't eaten anything. Well, I don't want to fill out this onesie He's prematurely. Not even saving it I'm all waiting for the remember? this week tease in the onesie. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. That's right. George has a huge show this morning. <laughs> he will not be wearing this. Have a great day, guys.